Hello there, my name is Charles Wells. Welcome to another presentation on functions of complex variables. In this case, we're focusing on practice on working with conjugate and the conjugate harmonic functions. Now, the example now is as follows. We're given u, which is equal to x squared minus y squared plus x. We need to determine v of x, y such that f of z equals to u plus v i is an analytic functions function. And we need to give f of z in its simplest form in terms of z. And lastly, we need to check whether u and v are conjugate harmonic functions. Now, uh, start, we need to have to know the, the, the definition of what is conjugate and what is conjugate harmonic. But we'll discuss that when we get there. Let's start with our U. So for solution, we have our U given as U of X, Y equals to x squared minus y squared plus uh, x. Now, because of this condition that we are told that this function must be analytic, it is necessary that we state our coach equations. So this is our initial steps, noting what we are given. The number one first step of coach equations states that du delta u delta x was to delta v delta y and delta u delta y is equal to minus delta v delta x. Now, now since we are given u, we, are, we see that we are able to find derivatives of partial derivatives of u in terms of x or in terms of y. So maybe in this case, let's start by using this equation. What you have here is that delta u delta x is equal to 2x plus 1. And then you must see that this actual links as up to what we're searching for, which is u of vx by this equality, which says delta v delta y is equal to this. Now, in this at this point, we note that we are in the presence of a derivative of v. So then, using integration, we can now partially recover v. So we can now say it therefore v of x, y v of x, y is equal to the integral of 2 x plus 1 integrated with respect to 1 now integrating with respect to y this is a constant we get this is 2 x, y, and also here, the constant you get is, um, that is y, plus the g of x, in other words, a constant dependent on x. And this is in accordance with the differentiation, partial differentiation, remember, if we differentiate v, we're given all the part which depend, the part which depend solely on x, will get to zero, so we recover it by this type of constant, which is actually kind of a special constant in terms of x. Now, now having this expression as v, we can now use the second equation, which where we can say this is delta v delta x, which is going to be equal to differentiating here, 
that will be 2y plus 0 plus g prime of x. g prime of x justified here because this is a fun function of a single variable. And then this is equals to minus the derivative of the partial derivative of u respect to y. Now we can go back to the partial to u to get the partial derivative of u, which is going to be equal to minus 2y. So this substituting here, we have minus brackets minus 2y, which simplifies to plus 2y. So, in other words, is what we have here is that 2y is 2y plus g prime of x is equal to 2y. Now, having arrived at this equation here, we can now make gy subject to formula, which gives us that gy, g prime, sorry, not gy, but g prime of x is equal to 0. Now, this is a function of one variable, and it's derived to 0. Now, we can conclude that, therefore, g of x is precisely a constant c. Now we are then able now to write v as uh, v of x y equals to this expression plus a constant, which is two x y plus y plus a constant c. Now we know that in this exercise we are given a function v but we have not been given any condition. So this condition, this C, will remain, unlike in the previous example, this C will remain as an undetermined coefficient. So writing our f of z, f of z in terms of uh, x, y, would be, the given v plus this i. Our given v was, sorry, our given u was x squared minus y squared plus x. So right here, x squared minus y squared plus x plus i to x, y, plus um, y, plus c. Now, migrating this to a function of z, we need to organize in quick terms. Like for example, already several times we've worked with this kind of expression, which is x squared minus y squared plus i to x y. Uh, plus x plus i y, collecting this y next to this x, plus i times c. Then what we get here, we know that this is z squared and then plus this would give us z plus c. Since we're not given initial conditions, then we we'll leave this as our answer f of z equal to z squared plus z plus c, and the c here being an undetermined coefficient. Now, I hope this is also safe as an example of trying to cover one part of the function given, say, u or v.
P of X1. Now for your practice, I would like to, I would like to encourage you to do the following exercise, which are, in each of the following case, find the conjugate function and the f of z in simplest form in terms of z, and also check if uh, b and u are conjugate harmonic functions. So the second part of our question, the previous question, we also for us to check here whether u and v are conjugate harmonic. So before we conclude this exercise, we should check whether these functions are conjugate harmonic. Now, checking whether u is uh, harmonic, we need to prep u, x, y, and determine the first and the second derivative. And our v in this case is equals to 2x, y plus y plus c. Now for u, the first derivative, partial derivative with respect to x is equals to 2x plus 1. And the second derivative, partial derivative is equals to 2. Now on the other side, if differentiating with respect to y, so this is squared there, from there. As derivative of u with respect to y will give you minus 2y. And the second order partial derivative of u will be equal to minus 2. Therefore, we have your delta as delta second u delta x squared plus delta second of u delta y squared is equals to 2 substituting this by 2 plus for the formula given there minus 2 for the partial derivative this is equals to 0. So then this Laplace equation which you talked about before is satisfied it's equal to 0 we can then say, now say u of x, y is harmonic. Now considering v, now considering v, we need now to find the first derivative of v with respect to x, partial derivative of v with respect to x, which is theta x, theta v theta x, which is equal to 2 x plus 0 and 0. Then second derivative v with respect to x gives us 2. Then partial derivative of v with respect to y, you can see here, 0 there, 1 there, and 2x. Then we have 2 x and next it's a differentiating partially v with respect to y we have that uh, the partial derivative of this respect to y is equal to 0. Now, checking the Laplace equation, we check that t v is delta second v x squared plus delta second v 
dy theta y squared is equals to 2. plus 0, which is equal to 2, which is not equal to 0, then in this case here, we conclude that therefore V is V, v x y is not harmonic. So, this shows that, that sometimes you can have in that uh, fun that function, the analytic function formed of one harmonic function in the other knot. That is important to note. Then you can now proceed and do the examples which I've already introduced to you. And in this case, note that the first example were given the initial condition, so we must think of what we did in our very, very first example of this type of exercise. For now, thank you for listening. Meet you in the future presentations.